it's a mountain that needs to be climbed and then I don't even know where to start to stop this thing. It's such a huge business and especially child sex trafficking. It is bigger than we know. We live in this beautiful bubble in the big cities. I mean, I've lived in New York before. I live in LA now. It's, it's a beautiful city. It's a huge sex trafficking hub. So is San Diego. So is like uh, Philadelphia. I mean, we don't even see it. We don't know it. It's an underground business. It was a room full of photographer's equipment and tea and fruit and coffee and uh, a backdrop and you know and he took some pictures and there was a female assistant and he said we'll call you if the client likes you. I said okay great. This time I it's on the fifth floor I took the little tiny elevator up. There was one, one door on that floor so I knocked on the door, he opened the door, I went in and he slammed the door behind me and locked it one lock, two lock, and then another lock with a key. And he walked around me and he put the key in his pocket. And I was like, this, this is not, no. Like your brain doesn't comprehend what's going on. I was silent for 10 years. My reason for being silent was that I wanted to be normal. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't, didn't want to be pitted, I didn't want to be, I didn't want anyone to know, because the less people that know about it, the better for me, because I just could just melt into the normality of everyone. I think a lot of women, when this happens to you, you feel embarrassed, ashamed, you blame yourself. All those feelings make you feel like a victim. And it's really important for women to not feel those feelings. It's not your fault. You shouldn't feel ashamed and or embarrassed. You should not be labeled a victim. You're not a victim. You have gone through a horrible event. You are a survivor. You're on the other side. If I can just help one, just one other woman, I can make a difference. With my, with my story and my horrible accident happened to me, I could change someone else's life. And that's what made it worth it for me to actually come out and do this film. That's huge. They actually get to talk. Even if it's to me and I'm a stranger, but that's okay. They still get to share their story too. And that's, that's the big step that they're taking from becoming a victim to a survivor. That's part of what this film is too. I really, myself, want to take it through schools across America, universities, and hold screenings and Q&As and let all the students ask all kinds of questions that they want to ask. Human beings, we do get over things. We just do. We heal naturally. For me, the biggest moments, which might sound crazy, is the entering the apartment when he locks the door. That's the most haunting moment for me over all the years. What if I just didn't go? What if I just didn't make that phone call? What if I just, I, had, I still had the choice. When I had one foot in the door, I still had the choice. Once I was in, I had no choice. Then I was forced to all kinds of things that I didn't have a choice on anymore. So I still blamed myself for that choice for so many years. It's so empowering. For a woman, it's the ultimate empowering that you can have, that you're not gonna let a man crush you. We do all the time, we do let men crush us, and it's devastating. Yes, you're a victim in a way, it's happened to you, but don't label yourself a victim. You're a survivor, and that's a very important part, and that's why also I wanted to make the film. Yes, it's making me, myself, to become from a victim to a survivor, making the film, but also I wanna show other women that you can do the same.